the two main protagonists. Yuji is attacking the soul, reducing Sukuna's curse energy and control over Megami's body, whilst Yuta has just hit him with a Uno reverse card. Sukuna's own power, Cleave. Sukuna's total curse energy right now is on the same level as Yuta. In chapter 225, it was Yuta who scaled Sukuna's curse energy reserves, which are more than double his own, meaning his fight with Gojo nerfed him to a huge degree. On top of that, Sukuna admits that his reverse curse technique is slow and he can't use his domain right now. Yay! This is orgasmic news to Gojo fans as he Thanks finally no, got no. some respect put, put respect on his on name head. and the efforts he made weren't totally useless after all. That's what I'm talking about. But this does prove Sukuna was holding back, I'm just saying. <laughs> However, it's time for Gojo's students to shine, as Yuta's domain is completely broken. This expansion has an infinite number of swords, each with a different curse technique imbued into it. There's no limit to the number of katana that can be stored, but only he can utilize these techniques and they are all one use only. On top of that, it also allows Yuta to choose any one of his copy techniques to be imbued with the show hit effect making his domain one of the most powerful in the entire series. Right now, the short hit effect is Jacob's Ladder which Angel used. In chapter 221, we learn it has the power to destroy any curse bathed in the light, including special grade curse objects such as Ryum and Sukuna. Therefore, it's able to destroy the fingers Megami had eaten, something even Gojo couldn't do. However, Yuta doesn't know which sword will reveal which technique until he uses it. For example, he made Sukuna admit his disadvantage using Uru's Sky Manipulation Curse Technique. Hence, he theorizes that if there are any powers that Sukuna has not seen, there's a chance to take him by surprise. And so, Jump Kaizen begins. Now remember that Sukuna is stuck using Hollow Wicker Basket. He can't use the Reality Cutting Slash either, which is why Yuta splits Rika into multiple mini Shikigami, just like the ancient sorcerer Drav whom he fought in the Sendai Colony. But this is where our go Yuta comes comes in because he uses another insane copy technique, the ability to see into the future. Bro, I don't remember that. Where did that come from? Well, it belongs to this wannabe manga called Charles who fought or should I say, got destroyed by Hakairi. His curse technique was actually hacked because it allows Charles to look into his target's very near future, starting with one second. This is how Yuta could see Sukuna's next move and quickly evade them to kick him in the face. So this is clear proof that the squad went around other culling game players, including the sumo guys to gain even more power. As it ties in with chapter 190, when Hakairi goes back to see Charles after the Kashimo fight. Hakairi tells him not to worry like an established manga creator and to continue drawing like his life depends on it because what do you know, the culling game will be over soon. And as we all know, it can only be over if Sukuna and Kenjaku die. Therefore, Charles would help Yuta and the gang. The endless number of techniques currently is Angel's Jacob's Ladder, Uru's Sky Manipulation, Drop Shikigami, Unomaki's Cursed Speech, Charles' Future Sight. So with Sukuna's only option being a weak shrine, Yuta theorizes that the best way to dominate this fight is to use a technique he's not seen yet. Meanwhile, Sukuna is thinking something else entirely as he wonders, just like our community, whether Yuta copied Gojo's infinity. But like Gege confirmed in an interview, Yuta cannot use a sophisticated technique like infinity because it can only be controlled using six eyes. However, what we do witness is Sukuna's cleave being copied. Yuta suddenly picks up a katana and realizes it's the one he needs. He most likely achieved it because Yuji is a curse object soaked in Sukuna's curse energy, therefore fulfilling the conditions to take it for himself. This leads to a moment we've all been waiting for. Let's go!
<laughs> That's what I'm talking about, fam. Yuta uses the word hachi, which means cleave. So even though Sukuna stops his sword with a single hand, he is absolutely shocked at being cut up by his own fangs. But this also opens the doors for other powers, like Podo's Boogie Woogie to Nobara's Resonance. Nobara is the biggest Chekhov's gun in the series right now, as it also follows their plan to attack Sukuna's soul, with Maki's katana also being capable of doing that. However, since we know Jujutsu Kaisen ain't gonna have a happy ending, watch this video discussing Yuji's death at the end of the series.